Welcome back YouTube viewers to my third installment of Razor Tutorials, Razor Scooter Tutorials. Today I'll be covering the operating of your Razor scooter with lithium ion batteries that have been salvaged out of old laptops. Now the charging of these batteries can only be done at the moment one by one through the IMAX charger. Now I have a silver IMAX B6. All the other people on the internet seem to have the blue model. But I have to be different somehow, don't I? Anyway, before you can run any lithium-ion batteries, it's very well advised to have a battery management system, or BMS as they know. This keeps all the, all the batteries balanced, because this is, with lithium technology, you really do need this management system. This is my management system here. It's a 24 volt one. And here's my balance wires there and each balance wire goes out to the positive terminal of each battery. I've charged every battery up in pairs in parallel so it's a it's a 2P8S configuration and comes up each battery I charged up to about just over 4 volts. They're holding around about 4 volts at the moment. And we're going to see just how much current and how much power we get out of this now. So I'm going to turn the power on. Point the current meter at it. initial current there of 8 amps settled back down to about 5 now remember our old my old tied out SLA batteries were only pulling 1 amp in the previous tutorial but they were old leaky kind of batteries and they've probably lost a lot of their milliamp hours or current capacity a healthy SLA should pull more than 1 amp but the lithiums very promising here extreme amount of power we have the the possibility of having a very powerful scooter here but only real life tests under load will really truly demonstrate the capabilities real life tests under load all kinds of strange things can happen anyway tomorrow I'll be doing that and I hope to in the future be able to get hold of more of these lithium ion batteries. All I've got to do is find some more old laptop batteries. Now my local computer shop guy, he actually gave me those batteries, but he hasn't been forthcoming on any more just yet. But hopefully he may give me some more or I might be able to find somewhere where I can get some. Now you have to sort of weed out the weak batteries. I had to weed. Most of the batteries seem to be okay. Now I saw another YouTube video person who made a battery pack. And they claimed that the batteries themselves are virtually never bad. You may only get one bad cell in a pack. It's actually, it's usually the protection circuitry inside the battery pack that goes faulty. So it is quite possible to get some good cells. Now if this works out well I'd like to get maybe four batteries in parallel and really up the amp hour. But that'll be another, to, another project for another day. This seems to be all quite promising at the moment. Just before I go I'd like to sort of say that this is not a stock controller or stock motor for this scooter. The usual stock motor in, a, in the E300s is about 200 or 250 watts. This is a 350 watt motor and a 350 watt to 500 watt controller which is like a cheap Chinese controller which is held up very well actually. 
and it only costs like $15 off eBay. Fantastic. So there you go. Bye for now and I hope to see you in my next project tutorial or whatever you call them. <laughs> Bye.